Hi guys, welcome to this video series on accounting for IGCSE. After the day books, let us now understand the format of a cash book and how to record some basic transactions in the cash book. Cash book records only transactions involving cash or bank or both. Hence, credit transactions are never recorded in the cash book. For example, when goods are purchased on credit, it is not recorded. When goods are sold on credit, again it is not recorded and so on. The format of a cash book is similar to that of a ledger account. It has two sides, the left side is the debit side and the right side is the credit side. The date and details column are recorded in a similar way. In a ledger account, there is a single amount column. But in a cash book, both sides have two amount columns each. One is the cash column to record receipt or payment of cash and the second column is the bank column to record receipt and payment through bank account. Recollecting the rules of debit and credit, cash and bank being assets of the business will be debited if they increase in balance. In other words, all receipts transactions will increase the cash or bank balances and it shall be recorded on the debit side of the cash book. Whereas, all payment transactions will decrease the cash or bank balance and hence shall be recorded on the credit side of the cash book. So let us see some basic transactions and learn how to record them in the cash book. The first transaction started business with cash 20,000. The owner has started business by putting in capital in form of cash $20,000. So cash is increasing in the business. Hence, will be recorded on the debit side of the cash book. So, record the date, March 1. Details will be the account that would be credited, which is capital, and 20,000 in the cash column. Purchased equipment costing 2,000 and paid by cash. Since this is a payment of cash, go to the credit side of cash book. The date, March 5. Details will be the account that would be debited, which is equipment, and 2,000 in the cash column. Goods purchased costing $1,000 and paid for them by cash. Again, this is a payment entry. Go to the credit side of cash book, March 8. Details will be the account that would be debited, purchases, and in the cash column, $1,000. Goods were sold for cash, $1,400. In this transaction, business is receiving cash. So go to the debit side of cash book, March 12. Details will be the account that would be credited, sales, and $1,400 in the cash column. So this is how you record some of the simple transactions in the cash book. Let us now discuss about some special transactions. The first special transaction is the contra entry. A contra entry is a transaction in which both cash and bank balances are affected at the same time. One balance increases and the other balance decreases and hence the transaction is recorded on both sides of the cash book. So there are two types of contra entries possible. First, in which cash is withdrawn from bank, where cash is increasing and bank balance is decreasing. And second, where cash is deposited into bank, where bank is increasing and cash is decreasing. So let us see some more transactions including the contra entries. On March 14, deposited cash into bank dollars 15,000. Now this is a contra entry because bank balance is increasing and cash is decreasing. Hence entry will be recorded on both sides of the cash book. The rule for contra entry is always record the amount column first and then the details column. Since bank balance is increasing, it is a receipt for the bank column. So go to the debit side of the cash book and record the amount in the bank column of the cash book. And since it is a payment for cash, Entry will be made on the credit side of the cash column and then record the details column. A C mark is put in the details column to identify that this is the contra entry. Next, check received from AK Limited 3000. Now this is a receipt transaction so entry will be made on the debit side of cash book. Details will be AK Limited and since it's received by check so amount will be recorded in the bank column. On March 20, cash was withdrawn from bank for office use. Again, this is a contra entry. Cash is being withdrawn from bank, so bank balance is reducing and it is being put in the cash box of the business for office use, so cash is increasing. Entry will be recorded on the debit side in the cash column, so record the amount first and it is a payment for the bank column, so go to the credit side and record the amount in the bank column and then record the details column. The second special transaction is the dishonor of check. Dishonor of check is a situation in which bank refuses to deposit the amount of money of the check in the depositor's bank account. Possible reasons could be insufficient balance in the payer's account or an error in writing the check. So let's see how to record the dishonor of check in the cash book. On March 22, check received from AK Limited was reported as dishonored by bank. So let's see how to record this in the cash book. When check was received from AK Limited, the entry was made on the debit side of the bank column. When the check gets dishonored, an exact opposite entry will be made on the credit side. What we have seen here is the two column cash book. Most firms will maintain a three column cash book that includes an additional amount column on each side to record the cash discounts. 
the debit side of the cash book will have discount allowed column and the credit side of the cash book will have the discount received column so let us see some transactions that involve these cash discounts and let us learn how to record them on march 23 purchased goods on credit costing 1000 from nima as i told you earlier cash book only records cash transactions and not the credit transactions this is a credit transaction goods were purchased on credit this will not be recorded in the cash book instead it will be recorded in the purchase day book next march 25 paid a check to nima for the above transaction after deducting 5% cash discount since this is a payment transaction entry will be made on the credit side of the cash book since amount is paid by check it will be entered in the bank column but before that there is a 5% cash discount we have received a 5% cash discount on $1000 so 5% of 1000 gives you a discount received of 50 hence recorded in the discount received column 50 and the difference 1000 minus 50 will be paid by check so 950 in the bank column on march 26 received a cash of 475 from kgv after a discount of 25 was allowed to them so since this is a receipt transaction come to the debit side details a discount of 25 was allowed to them so 25 in the discount allowed column since amount was received by cash the received amount 475 will be recorded in the cash column once the transactions are recorded it has to be balanced so let us balance this cash book at the end of march the cash column and the bank column both will be balanced individually so let us balance the cash column balancing is to be done the same way as seen for ledger accounts so if you see in the cash column debit side of the cash column or the debit total is greater than the credit total so take the total on the debit side 26875 copy the same total on the credit side of the cash column and above the total march 31 balance carried down the difference between debit and credit side so 26875 minus the total of credit which is 18000 so 8875 so this completes the balancing of the cash column now let's go to the bank column bank column also debit side is greater than the credit side debit side total is 18000 credit side total is 5950 so take the total on the debit side copy the same total on the credit side and the balance which is the difference between the debit side and the credit side will be written in the same row as the cash balance 12050 discount columns are not balanced instead the total of the discount columns are taken so 25 and 50 if you see in this cash book cash and bank columns have a debit balance of 8875 and 12050 respectively is it possible to have a credit balance also in cash or bank in case of cash that is not possible as payments cannot be made more than the receipts hence cash column can never have a credit balance but in case of bank it is possible to make payments even if sufficient balance is not available this is because the banks allow an overdraft facility to the business whereby they may overdraw the account and make payments even if sufficient balance is not available the overdraft balance or the credit balance in a bank is a current liability of the business let us try posting these transactions to the ledger accounts posting to ledger accounts is done in a similar way as already seen for the other ledger accounts the only difference will be seen in the posting to discount accounts so let us prepare a few ledger accounts starting with ak limited on march 16 transaction was recorded on the debit side of cash book check was received from ak limited so in the ak limited it will be recorded on the credit side since amount was received by check details would be bank and 3000 in the amount column and on march 22nd when the check got dishonored entry was made on the credit side of cash book and in the bank column So the second effect will be recorded on the debit side of AK Limited. Second account we shall prepare is Nima account. On March twenty third, goods were purchased on credit from Nima. Though this was not recorded in the cash book, but it would have been recorded in the purchase day book and and hence will be posted to Nima account. Then a check was paid to Nima on March twenty five after deducting a cash discount of fifty. So let us record this transaction in Nima account on the debit side, March twenty five. Since nine fifty was paid by check. In the details column we have bank and amount column 950 and 50 was received as a discount from Nima so that will be recorded again on the debit side but in the details column discount received and amount column 50 so in this way you can prepare all other ledger accounts let us prepare discount allowed account and discount received account discount allowed and discount received accounts are not posted individually in other words individual transactions are not posted to these accounts in fact the total taken in the cash book for Discount allowed column and discount received column are directly posted at the end of the month. So let's prepare a discount allowed account. Discount allowed is an expense of the business and expenses are debited. So go to the debit side of discount allowed account at the end of the month. It will be recorded in total. So total discount allowed for the month 
25. In the same way, discount received account is also recorded from the total. So let's prepare a discount received account. Discount received account is an income account. Hence, transaction will be recorded on the credit side of this account. So at the end of the month, total discount received 50. If you think that the video is useful, please like the video and share it with others. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel to receive notifications when more videos will be uploaded. If you have any feedback regarding the video or you have any doubt regarding this topic, please comment below the video or you may WhatsApp me or email me on the details mentioned.